Hi guys, Cam and Caleb here from Absolutely Fish. Today, we're going on an Aptasia hunt, searching for those pesky little anemones that come in on your rock. Today, we will be discussing a couple of treatment methods. This includes Aptasia X as well as a few natural remedies. And don't forget, visit fragscoralzoas.com for all your reefing needs, educational blogs, and coral listings as well. Aptasia are a type of pest anemone that enters the tank on live rock or coral pieces. There are a few different species of Aptasia but all feed on the same nutrients that corals need so they are likely to thrive in a reef tank. They spread quickly and survive in a wide range of parameters. When left unchecked they can start popping up all over your aquarium. So the sooner you find and get rid of them, the greater chance you have of eliminating them from your tank. Aptasia, like other nadarians, use stinging cells called nematocysts to protect themselves and fend off any competition for space. If you look at the base of this leather coral, you'll notice a brown area where the Aptasia has already started to sting it. A little iodine dip should take care of it though. First, we'll show you how to effectively eradicate Aptasia from your reef tank using a serum called Aptasia X. Aptasia X is a liquid used to eradicate pest anemones. Shake first, then using the provided syringe we begin to hunt for our invaders. A first dose is administered by squirting the Aptasia X into the mouth of the anemone. Clearly quite irritated, the anemone will then close up as a means of protection. Watch that the serum doesn't settle on other corals. It can be easily brushed off though before any harm comes to them. Once the first treatment has been given, we wait around 5 minutes before applying a second dose to the outside of the anemone. Basically any remnant of the Aptasia that is still showing after the first dose. Then, just take a desilt hose or airline tubing and try to suck out the remnants that are left behind. Here's a shot of the same rock days later. You can see the Aptasia is completely gone. The battle however is not necessarily over, so continue to monitor the rocks for any new sprouting Aptasia. Looking for a way to get rid of pest Aptasia naturally? Several species of butterfly fish, such as the copper bands and clinai butterflies, are known to eat anemones. Another helpful fish in ridding a tank of nuisance anemones is the color changing matted file. In this shot, you can actually see the patterning and color change as the file fish swims towards the front glass. So cool! Last, and probably the most reef safe option for natural Aptasia management would be the peppermint shrimp. While these three options have been known to eat Aptasia, be careful that they do not start grazing on your corals once the job is done. Aptasia can be a menace, spreading across your live rock, endangering the lives of your coral. But getting in there early and treating them makes them more than manageable. If you're in the need for some Aptasia X, or perhaps an Aptasia eating animal, go to fragscoralzoes.com. We've also got educational blogs, fragging tutorials, and much more on there. Go check it out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.